Good morning and happy Easter, Fall City Christian Church kids and everyone else who is joining us this morning. I'm so glad that you could be here on this holiday that is one of the most important days of the entire year. So we are going to tell the Easter story through some uh, different things that you can do at home today if you get a chance. So we're going to start right out with some resurrection eggs. So we're gonna start, I've got 12 eggs and we're gonna open them in order to tell the story of Easter. When I open the first egg, I have a piece of bread. And the reason why I have a piece of bread is that Jesus was celebrating the Passover and celebrating the Last Supper with his disciples shortly before he was arrested. He broke the bread and he asked them to eat it in remembrance of him and his body and also to drink the wine in remembrance of his blood. Our second egg contains a silver coin. In Matthew chapter 26 verses 14 and 15, it says, Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas, went to the chief priests and asked, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they counted out for him 30 pieces of silver. Jesus said that one of the disciples would betray him, and he was right. Judas was willing to betray him for 30 pieces of silver. Our third egg, I have here a per piece of purple ribbon, and this purple ribbon is to represent the purple robe that they dressed Jesus in after he was arrested as they were mocking him, which goes right along with our next egg, which are thorns. In John chapter 19, when Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, Pilate said to them, here is the man. Our next egg, I have used a piece of string, and this is to represent that not only was Jesus arrested and crucified, but prior to that, he was flogged and beaten beyond recognition, which is really a horrible thing for us to think of, how he sacrificed himself and suffered on our behalf. In the next A, you should recognize this. We have a cross. Now for us, our cross is a representation of our religion and our beliefs and our belief in Jesus. For Jesus that day, that was the place where they made him carry his own cross until he could not any longer so that they could crucify him. Next, how oh, are even stuck in there? We have a nail. Because as we know, not only did they put Jesus on a cross, they nailed his hands and his feet to the cross. Next, we have a piece of paper, but on this piece of paper is a message. You see, above his head, as he was being crucified, there were, they had a message written. This is the King of the Jews. It was one more way that they were mocking Jesus. Our next resurrection egg, you have to use your imagination with me and pretend like this is a sponge. As Jesus was on the cross and dying, a soldier or man had a sponge with uh, wine vinegar on it and offered him a drink. So that would have tasted really sour. And awful. Finally, we have a little representation of a spear. In John chapter 19, verses 33 through 34. But when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. At that point, Joseph asked to take the body and prepare it for burial. So we're actually going to take a break from the resurrection eggs and put the
those aside. If you wanted to do this at home with your family, all you need is a package of crescent rolls, a fourth of a cup of butter, two tablespoons of cinnamon mixed with two tablespoons of sugar. Here's my butter that's been melted because you'll need to melt it in the microwave and a marshmallow. So our marshmallow here represents Jesus's body as Joseph took the body they prepared it for burial by first you know, roll it in the butter. And the butter represents the oils that they would have embalmed the body with. Then the cinnamon and sugar represents the spices that they would have used on his body. So they would have put spices all up and carefully prepared his body. I'm going to roll my marshmallow all the way through those spices. Here, a crescent roll represents the cloth that Jesus' body was wrapped in. So I'm going to carefully wrap my body. And I'm going to pinch the sides so it's all snug and tight in there and wrap the crescent roll up making sure that it's all closed up because they would have carefully wrapped and prepared his body in cloth. Then they would have placed him carefully in the tomb. When you put this in the oven, that represents the tomb that they placed Jesus' body in. A giant stone, so here we've got a rock, was rolled in front of the tomb that no man by himself could have possibly moved. Three days later, after this goes into the oven, into the tomb, and comes out, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, as we know from the Bible, went to the tomb. And an angel said to the woman in Matthew chapter 28, verses 5 and 6, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. So as your um, resurrection rolls have cooled from being in the, the tomb of the oven, you can open it up and see that it is empty. Because Jesus had risen. And that's where we get our last resurrection egg, our golden egg, which is empty. Which is what we celebrate on Easter. We celebrate that the tomb was empty. Jesus was exactly who he said he was, the Son of God. And because of that, we know that Jesus put himself through this horrible torture and death and was crucified on the cross to die to cover our sins. Because we're not perfect. Jesus was the only man who walked on earth who was perfect. We need Jesus to cover our sins so that we can be with him and with God for all eternity in heaven. So I'm gonna pray with you for just a second. Dear Lord, thank you for helping us to celebrate Easter even though, Lord, we've had to do it in a, in a different way than we normally do. Please be with everyone who is watching. Please be with their families. Help them to take a moment today to pray and thank you for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great week. Hopefully you'll get a chance to make these awesome resurrection rolls. They are delicious. They're really yummy. And... Um, so hopefully you'll get a chance to do that, and I hope to see you again really soon. Love you. Bye.